world. As more people qualify to get the vaccine, we're getting a lot more questions from you at home about how all of this is working. Here at King 5, we're working to get you the answers. Joining us this morning again on this Friday, Dr. Larry Corey with the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, who's helping to coordinate the vaccine effort nationwide. You're super busy, Dr. Corey. Thanks for taking the time again. Pleasure to be with you, Jake. Good to see you, sir. First question on the heels of that breaking news with Johnson and Johnson this morning. It appears it is safe, but less effective than Pfizer and Moderna. How does that efficacy compare to, say, the flu vaccine and, and the other vaccines so far? Well, it's actually really quite good efficacy. It's as good as essentially any flu vaccine. So, um, but the important thing is that it actually really is very good, 85% against severe disease, which is, you know, what you'd like to have to prevent you from being hospitalized and being on a ventilator. Also, um, uh, it actually pre prevented uh, mortality even against the South Africa strain. So um, we really have some good news out of it. Yes, it's one dose and it's not, and the one dose of j and is not as good as the two doses of Mer Moderna. And um, lots of questions about that second dose. And yes, the second dose does add efficacy. Well, let's get to a question actually just about that. Dale wrote to us, he emailed and said, I received my first COVID shot on the 26th at Swedish. I've tried to sign up for my second dose, uh, but they've closed it. So I have four weeks on my max time. If I go longer, do I have to start over? That's a pretty good question, Dr. Corey. That's a good question, but the answer is, uh, is an easy one. No, you don't have to start over. Um, there's really nothing magic about four weeks. That's the way we did the study. If it's six weeks or seven weeks or eight weeks, you'll still get that booster immune response. Even longer, you'll get that booster immune response. We're, the efficacy is really the time interval of the one dose. Um, it's the second dose that really adds the efficacy. So it's, it's nice to have it at, 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 at four weeks, but if it's at five weeks, six weeks, or seven weeks, it's not gonna hurt the eventual immune response or the protective efficacy. Okay, that's actually really, really, really refreshing. Okay, another quick question from a viewer. Uh, we had Vaughn write to us and he said, we hear that the variants are more contagious. Is it the shape of the spikes that make the difference? And is there any new way to protect ourselves? What do you think about that with these variants, Dr. Corey? Should, are there new ways to protect ourselves? Well, um, we're starting to talk about double masking and really talking about you know, adhering to the fit of the mask better, to adhere to some issues of recognizing ventilation is really important. It's actually way more important than just cleaning surfaces because it's those small aerosols that, that deal with this. Um, we do have some good news about this. The Novavax vaccine, which was reported yesterday from the UK, almost half the cases were the UK variant, which is the one that we expect to be here. And the efficacy was very high of that vaccine against the UK variant. So the Moderna vaccine, the Pfizer vaccines that we're using, we expect to have you know, very good efficacy as it relates to the UK variant. Another question on the heels of that too. Can you get the virus again, Dr. Corey, based on what we know, especially with this new variant? Well, the UK variant, uh, we're suspecting that immunity and vaccine-induced immunity is actually seems better than natural immunity. So the UK variant, we are expecting things to be the same. But the other issue is, is the Novavax trial yesterday, as well as the J&J &J trial. So it showed somewhat lower efficacy against the South African variant, which we've just identified it is in the United States and seems to have some community tr trans transmission. And it is the variant that we're more concerned about. And um, we have started working on a program with respect to trying to, you know, make a, a variant uh, to that uh, variant, a variant of a variant, really a vaccine to that variant. I'd be a little bit more articulate this early this morning. <laughs> um, and and uh, how we do that, whether we uh, do that as a booster, et cetera. Let's just say that a lot of scientists, uh, you know, luckily including myself to be in that group, uh, are really thinking about, quote, um, how we how we deal with this. Yeah. And um, there's a program being done that is starting to deal with this very actively. Yeah, Dr. Corey, we learn something new every single day and especially on Fridays. We're so lucky to have you. Thank, thanks for your time. We'd keep asking you questions, but my producer would start yelling at me. So we'll save it for next week. Thank you, sir. Have a good day.